Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim LaPierre. Today I'm going to share with you my tips for getting through the holiday season clean and sober. Uh, the first one is kind of reflect on this for a moment. We have a nasty habit of shooting on ourselves. We have a lot of expectations and my friends in recovery remind me that expectations are premeditated resentments. But the expectations that we hold of ourselves are oftentimes unrealistic, highly critical, or simply unkind. So the things that you expect of yourself, and you can do this with the holidays, you can do this with your family of origin, you can do this in any part of your life. Just grab a piece of paper and real quick write out what it is that you expect of yourself. And then imagine handing that off to somebody else in recovery. It feels different. It looks different. And ideally, we have a little bit of a different sense of what's realistic, what's fair, what's loving. The next step, uh, the next tip is to check your attitude. Those feelings of obligation, those feelings of things that you have to do, are going to put you in a bad space. And the truth is, there's very few things that we have to do. Everything else is a choice. And I hope that you'll choose what's best for you. The next tip is HALT, Hungry, Angry, Lonely, Tired. And what I love about that acronym is that it works both as a preventative measure and as a diagnostic measure. Preventatively, we can keep ourselves from getting too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired because we know those put us at risk for many things, including relapse. We can also use it diagnostically. When you're feeling really off, when you're feeling like something's not right, those are the first things you can check. Am I hungry, angry, lonely, or tired? And then the solutions are pretty clear cut. Then you can up your game. When it comes to HALT, there's a next level to this stuff. A lot of the things that we hunger for aren't food. When we're feeling angry, I promise you, no one is ever just angry. There's always a secondary emotion present. And if you can identify that and get those needs met and cope with it, chances are things are going to be a lot more manageable. We're often lonely even in a room full of people. We need to be around kindred spirits. We need to be around people who are in recovery and people who actively support us. And tired is... Quite often when people tell me they're tired, what they really mean is drained. So paying attention to who's pouring into your cup. If you have to be around people who are drinking this season, always have an escape plan. Have your own vehicle or your own means of transportation. Make sure that you're parked in a place where you can't be blocked in. Uh, have some plans in place before you go. Touch base with some friends, hit a meeting. Uh, touch base with your sponsor or a coach, and have plans for what you're going to do after the gathering. The nice thing is, and it's a strange thing to be grateful for, but COVID has eliminated most of the office parties and a lot of the family gatherings, and rightly so, out of a sense of safety. But I think a lot of us are feeling a relief that we don't have to fulfill things that we see ourselves as obligated to. And I say that's an opportunity. Maybe... Maybe enjoying the absence of somebody's company is a really good sign that they need to be removed from your life. It's hard to remove toxic people, but it's only hard because it's uncomfortable emotionally. It's not hard to do pragmatically. And ideally, you'll give yourself that gift this holiday season. I hope you'll increase your self-care during this time. The holidays are a time where we kind of naturally reminisce. We look back at where we've been. We look ahead to where we're going. And unfortunately, for a lot of us, looking back is depressing, disappointing, hurtful. Looking ahead is often scary. It produces a lot of anxiety. We struggle with um, different still points in life. Holidays, anniversaries, weddings, funerals, these are times when people naturally take stock. So be gentle with yourself. Make sure that you're sharing these things with other people. Don't get stuck in your head. And when you do find that you're struggling, being of service to others is a guaranteed way to not only get out of your own way, but to feel better. The world is full of folks who are struggling. And if I can take a break from everything that's going on in my life and be of service to others, almost guaranteed I'm going to feel better. Let people be there for you. If you don't have people, reach out, hit a meeting online. Con connect with somebody like myself, jim at sobernow.com is how easy it is to get in touch with me. 
If you would, be kind enough to put a like on this video and maybe share. I really want you to check out Sober Now's YouTube station. We have well over a hundred videos now of topics relating to different aspects of recovery, and it's all completely free. Check out my site too, Jim, uh, excuse me, SoberNow.com. I uh, would love for you to take a look at what's being built there. Uh, we've been adding to this for years now, and it's, it's wonderful to see so many resources being made available. So, have a joyous ho holiday season. Please take excellent care of you, and I'll look forward to talking to you soon.